My whole philosophy for taking photos is to share them so that other people can enjoy them. I really hope and my prayers that they're a blessing to others. Uh, sometimes I get messages where people would say that reminds me so much of when I was little or that reminds me of my dad or my mother or where we used to go as kids and you you can't put a price on that. Ah, that just just warms my heart. So really that's where my heart is at. This is Francis McDonald, whose photos of Cape Breton, Nova Scotia exemplify his love for the island and its people. With four distinct seasons, mountains, lakes, the ocean and wildlife, there's no shortage of beauty to capture. When I go out with the camera, I don't have to drive sometimes more than 10, 15 minutes in any direction. And um, what I'm feeling that day, what I'd like to capture, it's a, a tremendous variety. Then you throw in some wildlife and uh, it's, it's, um, it's a beautiful area of the world. I'm biased, but it is, it really, really is. Ansel Adams, the great landscape photographer from the United States, um, had said once that for landscape and nature photography, God sets everything up. He just needed someone to press the button. And that's my philosophy. But what happens when you add weather to the mix? Francis jokes that like a lot of Canada, Cape Breton can experience all four seasons in one day but the variety is something to embrace. I see that as an opportunity because sometimes I'll just take pictures of rain coming down from the sky and splashing in a puddle or watching birds splash around in a puddle in the middle of a rainstorm. Then we get snow squalls and um, you know, lightning, uh, weather, that's what gives spice and variety to to uh, photographs many of the times. And he believes it's the creative eye and not expensive camera equipment that's responsible for a successful photo. When you're taking photographs of nature, it's unpretentious. It is what it is. You capture it for its natural beauty and you try and capture it in a way that, uh, that elicits again emotion and person look at that sunset or that country road or that leaf or that color and really be moved by it. Cape Breton is renowned for its leaf color come fall, but Francis reminds me that it can be fickle. The foliage is spectacular, but one bad storm and the leaves are gone. Last year, we lucked out pretty good, but I've seen years where it's just starting and a huge windstorm comes up and there's only a little left. So that's kind of sad. Photography is a passion and not a job for Francis, but it seems to me like he should work for the Cape Breton tourism industry, drawing people back to their home or enticing travelers to come for a visit. Top of the list for reasons to come? Well, that's a no-brainer for him. It's the people. If you're broken down on the side of the road, guarantee someone's going to stop and help you and take you to the garage and probably you know, invite you home for tea and saying there's a square dance tonight in West Mabel. Come on, you got to come along and all kinds of stuff like that. Francis McDonald seems to me like one of the people who would invite you to tea. He's got empathy in his bones, spending 20 years as a geriatric nurse. He's now working on a coffee table book of his photos. Until then, you can see them on Twitter at Cape Breton Photo. And if they make you a bit sentimental, even better. You can sell photography all day and you can buy a zillion dollars worth of equipment, but it's capturing an image that will elicit an emotional response from those viewing it. That to me is successful and gives me great joy.